The universe is all of existence, the collection of space, time, matter, and energy. The universe is enormously vast, and ever since its origins some 13.8 billion years ago, it has been expanding which led to the carrying of distant regions apart at the speed of light. The universe consists of everything from the smallest atoms to the largest galaxy clusters and follows the basic laws of nature. All observable matter, which happens to be only a small percentage of the grand scheme of all matter, is built from subatomic blocks and the same fundamental forces govern all interactions between these elements. All known knowledge concerning these operating principles, from general relativity to quantum physics, both are due in future presentations, informs cosmologists that the universe is in flux. The initial account of the universe can be traced back to its very first instances according to the widely accepted cosmological model called the Big Bang Theory. In the Big Bang model, the universe was once infinitely small, dense, and hot. The Big Bang became a cumulative process of expansion and cooling which continues today. It was not an explosion of matter in space, but rather an expansion of matter itself and in the beginning brought space into existence. The Big Bang model does not explain all of the features of the universe and the model is continuously being refined by physicists and cosmologists when new information and discoveries are learned. Scientists continue to use the model as a framework for mapping the evolutionary continuum of the universe through events such as the decoupling of matter and radiation when the first atoms were formed and the universe became translucent and the condensation of the first galaxies and the first stars. Studying of the Big Bang and the balance between the universe's gravity and a force called dark matter can even help predict how the universe will end. In the universe's initial moments, the universe was unimaginably hot, infinitely compact, and contained pure energy, which is known as a singularity. But within a tiny fraction of a second, vast numbers of fundamental particles had appeared, created out of pure energy as the universe cooled. Within a few hundred thousand years, the particles combined to form the first atoms. Physicists do not know what happened in the very first instant after the Big Bang, known as the Planck era. However, at the end of this period, gravity split from the other forces of nature, followed by a strong nuclear force. Physicists and cosmologists alike illustrate this event triggered a short period of rapid expansion known as inflation. If the inflation event didn't occur, it helped to explain the reason the universe seems to be smooth and flat. During the inflation period, an enormous amount of mass energy came into existence with the equal but negative amount of gravitational energy. By the end of inflation, matter had begun to appear. During the exceedingly high temperature beginnings, the four fundamental forces, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetic force, and a gravitational force were unified, or also known as the Grand Unified Theory. During this time, matter and energy were completely interchangeable. In a Big Bang without inflation, what are now widely spaced regions of the universe could have never been similar in density and temperature. Inflation theory proposes that our observable universe derived from a tiny homogeneous patch of the original universe. The effect of inflation is analogous to expanding a wrinkled ball of paper after the expansion, then unraveling it to become smooth and flat. About one millionth of a second after the Big Bang, the young universe was contained, in addition to vast quantities of radiant energy, or photons, a simmering particle soup of quarks, antiquarks, and gluons. These are the fundamental construction of all atoms. Also present were the class of fundamental particles called leptons, 
mainly electrons, neutrinos, and their antiparticles, forming from energy and then being annihilated back to energy. The stage was set for the next process of matter formation that led to our current universe. First, quarks and gluons met to make heavier particles particularly and a smaller number of neutrons. Three minutes after the Big Bang, the neutrons combined with some protons to form atomic nuclei, mainly those of helium, called the nucleosynthesis era. In what's called the opaque era, the ocean of matter particles was in a continual state of interaction with photons, making the universe appear to be foggy. The remaining photons, destined to form the nuclei in hydrogen atoms, stayed uncombined. Finally, after half a million years, the universe cooled sufficiently for the electrons to combine with the free protons and helium nuclei, ultimately forming the first atoms. The photons were free to travel through the universe and most electrons was bound to atoms until the first stars formed, reheating matter in what's called the matter era. In conclusion, Ukrainian-American physicist George Gamow played a major role in developing the Hot Big Bang Theory. This, supplemented by inflation, is the mainstream theory today. With his students, Alpha and Hermer, Gamow studied details of the theory, estimating the present cosmic temperature as 5K above absolute zero. The strongest evidence for the Big Bang is the radiation that is left behind called Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation. Gamma predicted the radiation's existence in 1948. Its detection in the 1960s was confirmation, for most scientists, of the Big Bang Theory. Einstein's theory of relativity predicts the universe must either be expanding or contracting, it cannot stay the same size. If the universe were both infinitely large and old, Earth would receive light from every part of the night sky, and it would look bright much brighter, even in the densest star field. The fact that it is not is called Ober's Paradox. The Big Bang resolves the paradox by proposing that the universe has not always existed. <laughs>